what could have been a disastrous start to the season has actually turned out quite well, both in Europe and domestically. And after a period where I've been rotating the tactic, I have decided that just one will be the dominant tactic. And this might work to my advantage. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to Norwich, part 41, season 6, here in the Ferguson safe, set in the future. And currently we have 375 points, and if we can retain the title this season, then that will take us to a total of 525 points. And then all we will need to do to beat the safe is to win the treble. And we will have six seasons in which to do that. So things are very much on course and we have made a very good start to this season. We are not as good as Chelsea as can clearly be seen from the table and we are currently in second. We've played eight, we have 18 points. But Chelsea, who were good last season, but even better this year, they have started to open a gap and they are four points clear as we go into October. But it's early in the season and anything can happen and today we will be playing two games. We will be away at Sunderland in the Premier League and then we will be away at Celtic in the Champions League. But before we go into what has been happening both on and off the pitch, if you are brand new to the channel and you like FM content and you love to see people suffer playing this game, then you're definitely in the right place. So why not subscribe, like, watch, comment, do all that good stuff and help the channel to grow and help us to support the British Heart Foundation. Looking at the season stats so far, we have only scored 10 goals. We are only the 10th best in the league, so we're not scoring goals at a rate that I would like to be scoring. But we have conceded only four, which makes us the best in terms of conceding goals. So defensively, we are playing extremely well, but in attack, I have some concerns. I also have some concerns about the amount of yellow cards that we are giving away. We've given away 21 yellow cards and that makes us the third worst in the league. And tactically, I have decided that probably the best way to play is with the Brazilian 4-2-4. And what I might do to counteract the amount of yellow cards is to actually ask the players to stay on their feet. We do have to score more goals and so I've decided attack is the best way to go from this point on. However, that does give me a few problems. There are a couple of players now who are surplus to requirements and one of those of course is Matic. He is unable to play in this new system. He can play as a Segundo Falante but he does lack tackling and he lacks marking skills and so he doesn't really fit the way that I'm trying to play at the moment. And then Kitambala, he also doesn't fit the system very well. He can play as the false nine and he is developing nicely as a false nine, but his finishing is poor, his dribbling is poor, positioning is poor, and I'm not sure he makes the perfect false nine. So these two players, it's possible, will need to be sold in the winter transfer window. And that means that that will hopefully then solve the problems. It'll bring us in a lot of money and we can strengthen in one or two positions. We do have strength in depth up front, but I'm worried that we don't have a great deal of strength at the back. But let's have a look at what has happened on the pitch since you were last with us. And when you were last with us, you saw us beating Capitoline in the Champions League by two goals to nil. And we followed that with a 1-1 draw against Aston Villa at home. We then beat Tottenham by two goals to one away in the EFL Cup third round, which was a very, very good result. And then away at Leicester, we managed to get a 1-0 victory and things were looking very good at this point against AEK in the Champions League the following Wednesday. We managed to beat them by five goals to nil and we absolutely slaughtered them in that game. And that was followed by a rather disappointing game against Manchester United at home. We were very wasteful in front of goal and we do need to improve upon that desperately. 
And so that will bring us to today. We'll be away at Sunderland in the Premier League. Sunderland, who are in 17th place. And again, it's one of these teams who are at the bottom of the league. And we struggle to beat these teams so much. This is part of the reason why I've decided to go all out attacking and try to solve our problems up front by just attacking. We're good in defence, but we do need to improve up front. And then we will be playing away at Celtic. And although this looks like a very easy fixture in the future, Celtic are a very good team and perform extremely well in Europe. So neither of these games, I don't think, is going to be very easy today. We do have a few players who are currently injured. We have Ibaran, who is out with a bruised knee. He's expected to be out for only a day and so therefore hopefully will not be missing any matches. We still have Kamara out. He's expected to be out for a day as well and so hopefully he's not going to miss many future games. And then Pasquale, he has a twisted ankle. He is expected to be out for one to four days. I suspect all these players will be back and ready to play when the next fixture arrives. But are they going to be replaced in terms of injuries with other players? We are yet to see as we are in an international break. And so I will play through this international break and then we will be back just before kickoff for the game away at Sunderland. Let's go and kick some balls. And so the team today for the game against Sunderland is Gotts in goal with Kamara, Rahim, Raguin and Plantier at the back with Pasquale and Pook in midfield, Aranda and Thomas on the wings, with Wilden and Neil up front. We actually need to win this game, but I don't feel very optimistic because we can't beat teams who are way below us in the league. And when they're 17th, 18th or 19th, 20th, we cannot beat teams. And I'll be lucky to get a draw here. And I'm going to tell them, yes, we're doing doing well at the moment let's keep it going there's no reason why you shouldn't go out there and beat Sunderland I have pulled the lines back and um, I have pulled the defensive line back because I think it might be just that teams are just launching balls over the top and we are getting caught out with the high line so I've pulled the line back today to see if that makes any difference and we'll see then if we can create chances and score goals. And he, Jay Neal has been taken down in the box. We do have a chance. It is going to be a penalty. That is a clear stonewall penalty. And we need Wilden now to step up. And Jay Neal is milking this. And we, it's just a stonewall. It is awarded. And we need Jay Neal now to step up. Not Jay Neal. We need Wilden to step up and put this away. Keep his goal scoring going. And Wilden scores. The goalkeeper got a hand to it. But it is Sunderland nil. Norwich won. And I wondered if pulling the line back might make a difference. And just a simple thing like that can make the difference between scoring goals and not scoring goals. And um, defensively, we've been very, very good. But I do worry against these lower, lower teams that possibly we are playing with too high a line. And that is causing us problems. And that's why we always lose to lower teams. And so we seem to be... In charge of the game, Sunderland are coming back into the game. Sunderland have had three attempts. They've had none on target. We haven't, we haven't had any on target either. This is an indicator that things are not really going that well. We do need to find another gear. And we know we can do better than that, boys. We do need to go out there. Play a little better because this isn't good enough. And uh, Chelsea are still nil-nil with Arsenal, which means that we have closed the gap a little bit. And Sunderland, though, are looking to come forward. And we have to be very careful defensively. Um, we have to stop Sunderland from creating chances. It's a very even game in terms of chances. Sunderland have not had the ball, though. So I'm guessing they're playing a very direct route one game, trying to get it over the top of our defence. And hopefully we'll remain firm in defence and hold on to this victory. 
And there's a nice ball up the wing, and here's a chance. And Wilden is bursting into the box. Wilden has a chance, but he's put it over the crossbar. We should be burying these games. We're not, but here comes Pook. Pook is looking to bring it forward. Finds Plantia. Plantia inside into Reguan. Reguan to Pook. Pook looking for Kamara out wide. This is nice football, much better. Kamara goes past his man. Let's get it into the box. We do have a chance and it has gone in. And Lewis Wilden has made it 2-0. And I think I can relax here. It is now Sunderland 0. Norwich 2. Wilden again. <laughs> what we would be like without Wilden, I don't know. And Kamara just skipped past his man. Jay Neal had a chance, couldn't put it in, but Wilden was there for the tap-in afterwards. And now it's Sunderland nil, Norwich 2. We've closed the gap on Chelsea to two points, and I'd like that Chelsea-Arsenal game to stay nil-nil if possible. I'm going to go and make some changes. And so we have made our changes, and hopefully it will be enough to see this game out now. It's still Sunderland nil. Norwich too. A good idea, I think, to pull the lines back. And maybe that's what I will do against each of these lower teams when we come up against teams who are bottom of the league. And it could be that they are just playing like Route 1 football. And that is a dreadful pass by the goalkeeper. He's given it straight to Wilden. Wilden to Neil, and Neil has put it past the post. I would have expected better from Jay Neil there. But we are doing very well at the moment and we do have a corner swung into the far post and it has gone in and Raheem has scored from a set piece. It's Sunderland nil, Norwich three. That's the way to beat these teams at the bottom of the league. We have finally done it and hopefully now close the gap on Chelsea. And Raheem has made it 3-0. Our defensive solidity remains. And maybe I found the way to beat these teams. And it just means that you just got to lower the line and stop these long balls. And there's another one. But we do have men in position, but we haven't been able to tidy it up. But that's how they play. And that's maybe how to counter it. Um, it doesn't mean there's a big space between our midfield and our attack, but it didn't seem to matter. We have won the game. We have beaten Sunderland by three goals to nil. And that was nice work, everyone. Well done. And let's have a look at what happened in the Chelsea game, because I do think Chelsea were nil-nil. They have drawn with Arsenal nil-nil. We've closed the gap now to two points, and that is exactly what I required of this team today and so now we have to go and get ready for our game against Celtic we don't have long to prepare it's just a couple of days in between and so we need to get these team ready this team ready we need to rest some players so that they're fit and we'll be right back just before kickoff for the game against a very tough opponent Celtic we'll be right back and so here we are at Celtic Park for this Champions League game. And another good result here could see us top of the Champions League. I very much doubt that that's going to happen. We have got single with Muntian, Bonilla and Reguan with Plantia at the back. Pasquale and Ibaran in midfield. Puk and Zapropoulos on the wings with Aranda and Kitambala up front. I've decided to rest Wilden. He's been playing a lot of football. Aranda is a very good forward and hopefully he'll do a very good job in Wilden's place. Kitambala can go out and have a game as the attacking mid. We are tired after the weekend, so I need them to go out, put on a performance here. It's a slightly rotated team. Pasquale's looking a little bit aggressive, need to keep an eye on Pasquale. I don't know why he suddenly wound himself up like that. Celtic, though, in the future, are a very, very good football team. I'm also playing with the standard line against Celtic, 
and maybe we need to stop these long balls going over the top and at the moment it's a very even contest we do have a free kick though into the box and there's a header it's hit the crossbar and it's cleared away comes out to Kitambala Kitambala can't put it back into the box and it remains Celtic nil Norwich nil but we are having the better of the game at the moment and here is Pook Pook looking to go down the left wing. Can he get a cross in? He finds Aranda. Aranda back to Plantia. Plantia needs to find someone in the box. Can he get it across? He's hit a shot instead from an impossible angle. That was dreadful. But we have won the ball, have we? No, Celtic have won the ball back. And we are pretty much dominant at the moment. And there's a shot from Zaprapoulos that flies over the crossbar. And we're the better team at the moment. But again... Shots on target are absolutely dreadful. Luckily, Celtic are performing a little bit worse than we are when it comes to getting shots on target. But we cannot get our shots on target at the moment. And at the moment is still Celtic nil, Norwich nil at half time. We can very much win this match. I'm a little concerned about um, Pasquale. I'm going to tell uh, Aranda he's not playing very well. Kitambala's not playing very well. I think I need to tell them that they've not been good enough so far. And then who is it that is aggressive? Uh, Pasquale. I need to tell him to calm down a little bit if I can. Um, relax. And let's see if he... He appeared uncertain and unhappy. I don't want him too aggressive. I don't want any red cards here today. We're actually now down in fifth place in the table, but we're doing well. We're actually beating Celtic quite comfortably. And although we have, Celtic have had more of the possession, we've created all the chances, really. And here's Zaprapoulos, Ibaran, looking over the top for Pook. Pook, now come on, one moment of magic from someone. The ball into the box doesn't find its man. And it comes out. Here's Pasquale, Pasquale to Ibaran. Ibaran inside to Pook. Come on, Pook, this is your moment. We have a chance. And it is Kitambala who has put us 1-0 up. It's Celtic nil, Norwich won, and finally we've broken the deadlock. Kitambala on the end of it. It's being checked for offside. Is it going to be disallowed? And no, the goal is going to be awarded. Pasquale picked up the ball, found Ibaran. Lovely pass inside to Pook. Pook's shot deflected and Kitambala tapped it in from close range. It's now Celtic nil. Norwich won. Where will that put us in terms of the table? Maybe in third place, and that will be very nice. It's actually put us up into second. We do have another corner. Zaprapoulos with the corner. The goalkeeper claims it, and it remains 1-0 to Norwich. This will be a very nice victory if we can hold on. And Celtic are looking long. We should collect that. And here is Muntian. Muntian looking to bring it forward, looking for Pasquale, but that was a terrible pass. And here comes Celtic. We need to win this ball and drop deep. We need to keep our shape, drop deep and try and hold Celtic out. They are a very good team. They are also a team of Olympic-style sprinters. And I don't know where they're getting these players from. It's quite incredible in the future. And here's Zaprapoulos. That's a lovely pass to Pook. And Pook has made it 2-0. What a pass that was across the penalty area. And Pook said, thank you very much. And we are now 2-0 up against Celtic. It is very deserved, I think. Ibaran did well. Kitambala with a beautiful pass. And this was a lovely pass. And Pook just said thank you very much. And it is now Celtic nil. Norwich two. Two lovely passes there. Time to make some changes. And so we have made our changes. We have 15 minutes to hold on. And here's another chance. But Celtic have cleared. It comes out to Matic. Matic to Flores. Flores, who's carrying a little bit of a knock, but he's only going to play for 15 minutes, so he should be OK. Here's McSweeney. McSweeney, can he get the ball into the box? No, he can't, but Celtic have gifted it back. We've got another chance! And what a save by the goalkeeper. Was it a save or did it just go wide? It's been given as a goal kick. There's just 10 minutes or so left. Celtic are very, very tired. Clark Pook is out on his feet as well. 
So it's going to be, I think, a victory as we go into the final minutes. And we've given the ball away, but I think that is enough time, not enough time for Celtic to come back now. Thomas looks to get the ball forward into the box. Kittenbala with a chance. That was a real chance and we should have made it 3-0. I think it is game over now. Celtic nil, Norwich 2. We're up to second in the Champions League group phase. And given that the squad we have is not performing extremely well in the league, according to my liking. We are doing very, very well in Europe and we've beaten every team that we've come across. And so we have nine points from our three games. We are in second place. Is the Champions League a possibility this season? Who knows? But... We've done well this episode. We have beaten Sunderland by three goals to nil and we have followed that up with a 2-0 away victory at Celtic. Can't ask for better than that. And so that's it for this episode. I think what we'll do is we will come back maybe for Mulder and Wolves in the Premier League. We'll come back for those two games and that will take us up to the middle of November and hopefully we'll still be in a strong position in both competitions. Remember retaining the league is what we want to do this season and that's it for this episode if you are brand new to the channel and you like fm content and you love to see people like me suffering playing this game you are definitely in the right place so why not subscribe like watch comment do all that good stuff and help the channel to grow and help us to support the british heart foundation Whew. and all that remains to be said is we're fairly content here i would think that we can do the treble this year, who knows? Maybe we can. <laughs> or am I just dreaming? Oh boy. All that remains to be said now, boys. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next episode.